Hi guys, today is exactly, not exactly, but this is like one month since I found out that things are going to drastically change in my life and <laughs> I've actually dealt with the anxiety of it all. I don't know if I've told you guys. I think I filmed a video telling you guys, but anyway, in case I don't post that video because I was very, very vulnerable in that, vo in that video. I was too vulnerable. I said some things that... I've not edited the video, but now that I'm looking back, I'm like, nah, I'm going to remove that part, okay? You guys don't need to know everything. But yeah, I dealt with serious anxiety. Like, for the first time in my life, I actually dealt with anxiety for a prolonged time. I've had acute anxiety for certain um, occurrences or certain events in my life, but this is a, this one was prolonged, like, over some weeks. I was feeling anxious, I was feeling uncertain, I was feeling confused, I was feeling scared, I was feeling... G3, I don't know, like it's really messed up a lot in my, even my physical being. I was feeling sick even though I wasn't sick. But anyway, right now, one month after, now that I'm looking back at things, I'm actually, or now I'm looking forward at my future, I'm actually now at a place of excitement. Yes, I'm now at a place where I'm like, I'm looking forward to the future with excitement, with joy, with happiness, and with a resolve to maintain joy and happiness okay no matter what happens okay and surprisingly one of the people that have actually helped me to get to this stage in my life is actually Nezeville okay Neze Ada I know her as Ada she, she's forever Ada to me Ada, Ada is also her name okay so she's my namesake but you know she's now going by Neze anyway Neze is currently in Canada if you guys don't know go and check out her channel like she's in Canada like her she has two channels, there's Neze View and there's Neze Peperempe. So on Neze Peperempe, she's chronicling her journey and, you know, how things have been going for her since she landed in Canada. Yeah, so initially I couldn't relate, but then later on when she did a video, a particular video of, I think, her Airbnb, no, not her Airbnb, I think she did a video of her stay and you know some of the struggles they were dealing with some of the things she was dealing with you know because she didn't get an apartment quickly and you know she had to move from her airbnb quickly because of the airbnb was already leased to someone else you know so like she couldn't even extend her stay you know her flight was delayed before she got to canada so when i now started watching her videos and you know and her she has four kids okay she has four kids three boys one girl and the girl is a baby so it's not like oh like things are perfect for her either like she she's actually going through or she actually went through a lot at that time because now, now things are better for her but at that time she went through a lot and she went through it with still hope and all of that and i was like hmm, why am i even feeling so anxious when my own type of of you know journey is way easier if you ask me it's actually way easier and i'm here panicking meanwhile somebody that is is i mean it's not like her own is the most difficult she's actually good but it's not as easy as my own and i'm here panicking meanwhile she's happy she's enjoying her life she's filming her videos she's cool me i was dealing with panic attack <laughs> so it just made me just start seeing i even i even chatted her up and told her name you, you don't even know what your videos are doing for me like please keep them coming you know so it actually helped me a lot to actually put things in perspective and you know to put on a happy face not even just her another person that's helped me a lot is my sister because my sister too the same thing she left you know she went for she went to canada that pr route and she went there with a baby as well and you know at some point her husband had to come back to nigeria she was alone there with her two kids you know working and all of that so i was like and my sister was even telling me ah you don't you, you don't understand what god has done for you like you're supposed to be jumping up and down why are you feeling anxious you know so after talking to these two people and after them really you know assuring me of things i'm not like what is even wrong with you like stand up and arrange your life anyway all this shall I <laughs> so you guys i am relocating to the uk yay <laughs> i don't know if it is yay actually i don't know if, it, if i'm actually yay here for real for real but yes i am relocating to the uk i just realized that i didn't say it in my last video and i got some questions about it so yes i am going to the uk i am going to norwich in particular so yeah that's it about where i am relocating to the point of all this my long talk is that i'm at a place now where i am excited and i am you know trying to arrange things even though i'm still very very confused and very very all over the place again like i said this was kind of not, not even, I won't call it last minute. This was unexpected, well, number one. And then number two, I'm actually traveling to Canada 
for a whole month. Like if I had, anyway, I couldn't have done things differently because I mean, I had to be there for my sister. She's my only sister and she's giving birth in a foreign country without that much help. And you know, I have my family, I have help here. Yeah, so I, I, I couldn't have shifted my sister's own. That one is mandatory. But this other one just came at a time. I won't call it wrong timing, but it's just a very weird timing. So best believe that my head is spinning. When I say my head is spinning, like the wheels in my brain are like, chuk, 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 <laughs> so I have lists everywhere. I'm trying to remove everything in my brain and just bring it out. So I have lists everywhere. I mean on my phone anyway, but in my notes app, I have several different lists. Many of them are similar. Many of them, like I have two different lists of things to take to UK. I have two different lists of things to take to Canada. Like <laughs> anyway, one contains full stuff and stuff. One contains, you know, non-full stuff, but you know, essential items. One contains essential items for UK one or contains essential items for Canada like I have a lot going on right now and on top of that we haven't even actually filed for our visa what is the name apply for our visa that's even the funny part we've done some of the paperwork but it hasn't been I don't know if it has been applied as when I'm talking to you guys because my husband is not around so he's dealing with a lot of stuff at work and they know he's going to be leaving soon so he's trying to tidy up some things there on top of the fact that you know the new um, role that he's doing his new bosses are sending him materials and he needs to learn a lot for his new role so he's actually going through a lot where he is and that's another reason why i decided to to you know change my disposition towards things because I, this is one of the times that i know that my husband actually needs me very well and he hasn't said it in this plain english like i really need you he hasn't said this but I know that he needs me very well. There's so many things that he's basically like <laughs> anytime I take off something from his head, I can tell that he's very, very excited. Like when I take off something, one of the things he's supposed to do, when I when I take over and just do the thing or you know, put things in place for it, I can genuinely tell that he's so ex he's so happy, like ah thank god, this one is out of my I don't need to deal with this. Let me focus on this because he's going through a lot. Of, like they're sending him documents here for the relocation, sending him documents here for the job, sending him documents here for his previous job, sending him all kinds of things that he needs to attend to. Plus, he still has his job. Like he's still working, so it's not like oh he's he's on leave, uh, uh, certain certain all these things. No, he's still working. That's why I had to just change my disposition and you know just really really like wake up okay I and mean, i have to wake up and yeah even though we haven't even applied for the visa and stuff we have a moving company that is come that's the moving company they are coming on friday to come and you know survey things and assess the things that we're going to be carrying now we have two different um um what do you call it now ways of moving things what i mean is that we are entitled to both sea and air freight now through sea we have to figure out what we're going to be carrying because we're going to carry some furniture even though i'm i'm resisting the urge to carry too much because i'm like houses there are very small number one and then number two i want fresh things okay like if i'm moving to a new place let me let me let me get things from that place i don't need to carry everything from my old place there uh but some of the things that i bought newly when i was renovating my house i'm supposed to be carrying them like for sure for sure um yeah so i need to figure out those things that will go through sea i also need to figure out the things that will go through air yes can i help you because anything i carry like this i just remember when you were a baby and i used to carry you like this to film video oh. yay hey. my name is sophia <laughs> my name is sophia yay. Wow. Hey. your name is genoma yes <laughs> So yeah, I have to figure out what will go by air and what will go by sea. Again, I have said the things that will be going by sea, mostly furniture and you know, the big items. Then what will be going by air is mostly some gadgets and the things that we need almost immediately. Because when we get there, we're going to be provided with the temporary accommodation while we are now, while we now look for our permanent residence. So yeah, I just realized that I haven't told you guys that yes, I have changed my mind and I have decided to move shortly after my husband leaves. I'm not waiting for a year again, but I am not also going exactly when he is going. He has to go first and figure some things out before I and the kids will join him. But yeah, I am not waiting for a full year again because there's really no point. I've considered so many things and so many factors and realized that it's going to take a lot for me to stay in Nigeria for one more year after my husband has left. And I'm not about to make that sacrifice. I'm not about to suffer that suffer. Like if I'm going to be 
doing any suffering i might as well do it in the uk where i am going to be living for the next few years so it, there's no point suffering in nigeria than going back going to the uk and then suffering again it doesn't make sense so yeah i have decided that i am going to be going after my husband not with him but you know shortly after like uh, as soon as we can i and the kids are going to join him in the uk and i'm excited i have bags here i went to the market yesterday i bought ghana must go i bought ziploc bags most most of the things i bought anyway are for my canada travel but you know i bought ghana must go i bought ziploc bags so that i could just you know, um so that i can start packing things because i have to on my own part i need to do everything i need to do before i go to canada okay so whenever the visa comes out whenever other other things happen i need to start early so that's why i bought those guys i started packing some things though like just the things that i know i'm going to use between now and then trying to streamline it so that when the cargo company comes or the moving company when they come they'll be able to visually see what they're going to be carrying because from what i was told i don't need to actually pack but I, can, I should just show them what I want to pack and they'll do all the packing for me. They'll figure out the best packing methods, figure out, you know, how to pack it so that things don't spoil. The good thing about it is that we have a lot of allowance. Like, in fact, I'm not even sure we're going to use all the allowance we are entitled to. I'm not looking forward to add. <laughs> because for the efforts, each person is entitled to, according to how my husband described it, like the size of a washing machine that kind of box each person is entitled to it okay and we are five so imagine five washing machine kind of boxes what am i going to pack inside like i can't I'm, I'm going to carry almost everything we have here that's just the truth all our clothes i'm going to carry all our clothes also what i used to say when you're coming don't carry clothes i'm carrying all my clothes if i reach there and run it i'll throw it away or i'll dash it out or something but that i will not carry my clothes and reach there and start buying clothes from from from, from scratch nope okay like i mean i'm going to buy clothes but i'm not going to buy things I already have so that's why I have decided to start figuring those things out right now I'm also buying some things from Nigeria I'm going to be buying some you know little little important things that I know we're going to need immediately I'm going to start buying them if anybody should ask me right now what are your plans for the next you know few months the only thing I am very certain of is that my flight to Canada has been booked that's all every other thing I'm just going to take it as it comes, okay? That's my outlook towards this whole thing. Like, because I, at some point, that's why I was running mad. Like, I was just, like, my head was just full. I'm like, nah, I can't, I can't deal with this, okay? I was made for the soft life, baby girl for life. I cannot come and be racking my brain for things that I cannot control. So, the ones that I can control, I am working very well to actually control them. And the things that I can't, I'm living it for God, who has always been in control. And for my kids' things, I'm just going to sort their stuff and take only the very, very good things that they have. Then when we get there, I mean, children's clothes are usually cheap. In fact, me that I'm Nigeria, I buy my children's clothes from there normally. So, at the end of the day, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> so, I'll just pack their things that are actually very, very good and then give out the rest. Um, I'm also going to be cargoing food as well, but that will just be the ones that for our allowance. I'm going to just put some food items like Indomie, Goldimon, all those things that my kids already eat here before we adjust there because I'm not one of those people that are going to hold on to Nigerian food forever. No, I'm sorry, I cannot do that. Like even here in Nigeria, if I barely, like I'm not freaked by Nigerian food like that. So my, I'm just going to go there and adjust my kids and then we'll eat what we, what we have there. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm not one of those people that are going to, well, that's what I'm saying now. Maybe then I might change my mind. Maybe if I read this and the food is so bad, I'll be wishing that I had Nigerian food, maybe. But I'm just going to carry enough things for the adjustment period. After that, adjust to your new country, I beg, or new, not country, to your new location, residence, wherever you are re residing. Adjust to it, okay? But anyway, that's the update for now. I'm going to just always keep you guys posted. Anyhow, anyhow, even if it's inside car, I'll just on camera and tell you guys what's happening. Uh, I'm not going to overthink the content. Just want to give you guys updates at this, as it is happening. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Was I whispering? I feel like I was whispering at some point. <laughs>